Maths IQ Challenge is aimed at students in key stages two and three. They are tasked with designing, building and programming their robots to take part in a specific engineering challenge that changes every year. This is my first time at Vex IQ Nationals and I'm loving it. It's an amazing atmosphere, it's a great buzz. The thing I love most about VEX is the competitive side and how you can see all of your hard work build up to a competition where you can see what other schools have been doing and meet new people. It's good because we all have the same interests and we're all here for the same thing. Under the pressure, when the buzz is about to go off, you need to have skills to execute things that you need to do. And that's my favourite thing about robotics. We needed an opportunity to really create an innovative curriculum that really empowered the students to sort of learn themselves and be engaged enough to do that. And VEX offers that opportunity in a sort of self-perpetuating way. I like working as a team and it's good bonding with my mates most of the time. <laughs> The Nissan Skills Foundation run a lot of educational workshops with schools around the whole of the North East. VEX is something that we've picked up this year. Basically we like to support the schools who are taking part in the competition by providing them with the kit. It's just been amazing to see how passionate the kids are about the work they've been doing over the last few months and building the robots. The designs are also original and unique. I'm an apprentice for Lockheed Martin. This year one of our teams qualified for the Nationals, which is the first time ever. Not only that, every single team now has grown into over 20 students from about five or six different schools actively engaged on a weekly basis with robotics. It's quite nice just seeing how they're engaging each other, they've got teamwork, the technical coding and how advanced and how much work they've put into it, it shows. It's really amazing being able to work with other teams and look at their designs and be able to improve your own. I'm gobsmacked at the levels of engagement, the keenness and the expertise that these students have got. And I guess really the reason I'm here is I want, I want to try and work out how to bring this back and get more students involved in classrooms. It's fun and you get to learn a lot of new software and it's simple to use but also very technical. We've learned to build it together, to program things together. It's just been a huge learning curve really. We've gone from complete novices uh, when we first started, which was less than two years ago, into now being here today at the VEX Nationals for the first time ever. So I'm really proud of our team. And maybe someday the next step will be a career in engineering or a career in the technologies. Or maybe it'll be a career in coding or maybe it'll be to invent a groundbreaking new design. The trial and error of it, if something doesn't work, you can just fix it again later, or the same day. It's just, if something doesn't work immediately, make it work. The things that business and industry are looking for, you're looking for problem solvers, you're looking for people that are engaged, can talk through, know how to fail, pick themselves up and move on. I'm seeing that with students from seven years old up through to 14 years old here. It's amazing. We're looking at developing the young workforce and children being able to see the skills they're learning at school being relevant in, in the big bad world. And STEM plays a massive focus in that and being able to say, well, actually, if I can do that here, I could do that in that job or that job or that job. It's massively important. There's some key skills here that I think within engineering and BA systems as a whole, we really need to snatch up fast. It's fantastic to see so many young people so enthused in what's happening. It's absolutely brilliant. I think it's good because it's setting you up for later life and different careers that we might have to use this sort of information in. It sounds very important, it's so important. It's especially like as the world gets more technical and like technology. Yeah. Like it's, it's very good to have a basis in STEM. Yeah. As well as having an understanding about the world and how you can improve it with robotics.